protesters are gathering at the Supreme Court, another story that we are following all throughout the day, which is set to hear arguments in the biggest challenge to Roe versus Wade in decades. Mississippi is asking the court to abolish the 24 to 26 week standard of fetal viability and give individual states the power to set their own abortion mandates. Senior National Correspondent Terry Moran joining us live outside the Supreme Court for more. Well, Terry, there's a lot at stake here, and clearly I can hear the protests already kicking off early this morning. Very early this morning, Kira. Good morning. There are thousands of people here right now. They're expecting many thousands more, wave after wave of planned protests in addition to people coming. I've got to tell you right now, uh, the, the situation is, is more than calm. It, it feels like people are here uh, in a responsible way to make their voices heard on both sides. Usually at these events, at, at, at when the court is hearing an abortion case, you hear a lot of people who are uh, on the, on the uh, anti-abortion rights side, pro-life side. It feels very mixed today, about half and half, maybe even more on the pro-choice, pro-abortion rights side. But you're right, so much is at stake here. For 50 years, there's been this bitter struggle over abortion in America. And today in this court, in about an hour now, uh, this could be the decisive battle. Because Roe versus Wade, as you say, is on the line. Mississippi's law, which bans abortions at 15 weeks of pregnancy, no exceptions for rape or incest. And as you say, under Roe versus Wade and in other cases, uh, the line's about 24 to 26 weeks. States are prohibited from banning abortions before that under Roe. Mississippi has asked this court point blank overturn Roe versus Wade. And this case comes before a court which is much more conservative, this strong conservative majority, including three justices appointed by Donald Trump. Uh, many court observers say that this is the most uh, friendly court to abortion opponents maybe ever. Uh, but a majority of Americans say they want to see Roe versus Wade stand in a recent ABC News Washington Post poll, uh, three out of four Americans say the decision to have an abortion should be left to a woman and her doctor. We don't expect a ruling out of this court until next year, next summer maybe, but this morning, in about an hour, we will learn a lot about these justices on this issue and about the future of reproductive rights in America. Kira? And Terry, if you don't mind, just, you know, this is where I'm going to dig into your background and your history. You and I have been covering this for decades. I remember covering, even in the late 80s, uh, the protests that always happened every single year around Roe versus Wade. Just put into perspective why this has been such a divisive issue, such an emotional issue, such an intense issue. For, for decades now, and, and what today means, and I know we aren't going to see, you know, an actual outcome for about a year, but there are a lot of people that thought this day would never come. And here we are with a state that has said, let's overturn Roe versus Wade, and states behind them coming on, Texas and other states, a dozen other states, will follow suit with a similar law. And the reason it's divisive, obviously, the stakes are so high. It, it is the battle between between life on the one side and the view of those who oppose abortion rights and, and, and liberty on the other. And, and it is hard to square that circle. And one of the reasons it became so divisive in this country is because of what this court did with Roe versus Wade. It was a debate happening throughout the country and this court stepped in in 1973 and awarded total victory to one side. Since then, uh, basically silencing the debate. The debate happened out on the mall. The debate happened in these protests, what is arguably the largest protest movement in the history of the United States until after uh, uh, essentially getting the Republican Party and Republican presidents to appoint justices. Here they are on the verge of victory. Uh, we will see if that, if that is what happens, but uh, you can feel the tension in the air here. Kira? Yep, we always have. Terry Moran there at the Supreme Court for us. Terry, thank you so much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.